was doing some editing this morning and was trying to come up with some new video ideas for you guys and I thought why not take you guys through everything that's on my work desk, everything that I use when I'm working here editing photos and videos from home. A little while ago I decided that I just wasn't happy with my desk setup, there was way too much stuff on it. I had some studio monitors, an audio interface, all kinds of junk going on and I decided one day I'm just going to simplify it. I've kind of turned that corner and gone for a little bit of a minimalist inspired setup and I think for someone who really likes to be organized it kind of inspires me just to jump in and start working. Fun fact about this setup is it's completely powered by one single power outlet. At the heart of my setup is the Apple M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And because I do move around a lot, I do prefer having a laptop over a desktop computer. So I'm running the base model 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is the eight gigabyte of RAM with 256 gigabyte SSD storage. And a lot of people have been asking me if they need to upgrade to the 16 gigabyte of RAM for the M1 MacBook Pro, if you're doing video editing or photo editing. And in my experience, I've been really happy with the eight gigabyte. And this is hands down the best laptop I've ever used by far. It's never choked on me, even while running Lightroom and Photoshop at the same time. And I haven't really noticed a single difference between the multitasking abilities of this laptop versus my older specced up 2017 Intel MacBook Pro. And that was a 15 inch with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I've got a clear case on the top and bottom from InCase to protect it from getting scratched when I'm out and about. Moving on to the monitor now, and this is the piece that allows for this whole setup to be run with just one power cable. This is the Dell U2520D. It's a 25 inch monitor, it's 2K in resolution or 1440p, it's a 60 hertz display and it is USB-C. So a single USB-C cable does everything. It powers the MacBook Pro, it provides the display signal, and it also acts as a USB hub with multiple USB-A and USB-C ports built in. So that means when I come to the desk, I plug my MacBook in, I only need one cable. This Dell monitor also allows you to daisy chain multiple monitors together while still only using one USB-C cable plugged into the computer. I love that this monitor is also tilt and height adjustable as well, so you can really customize it so it is comfortable for you. Next up is this Rain Design M Tower and I got this quite a long time ago but this just allows the MacBook to be stored vertically, saves a little bit of space on your desk, looks neat and tidy and it gets the laptop up off the table which helps it to run a little bit cooler. For my mouse I'm currently using the MX Master 2S and this has been my favorite mouse for the better part of the last three or four years. It has a rechargeable battery which lasts weeks at a time even with daily use and it charges using a micro USB cable and you can still use the mouse while it's charging which is really nice, unlike the Magic Mouse with that fatal design flaw of having the charging port on the bottom. But what I love most about this mouse is how ergonomic it is. It's super comfortable. I never get a sore wrist, even after sitting at the desk editing for hours at a time. It also has heaps of customizable buttons, as well as a scroll wheel on the side of the mouse for moving through documents horizontally. The keyboard I'm using is the Apple Magic Keyboard in the space gray color, and I really like the look of this keyboard. It matches pretty much everything else in my setup. I love how thin and low profile it is. It's really easy to type on, very, very comfortable. The keyboard has really, really good battery life and it charges using a lightning cable, which I've got plenty of them here because I'm an iPhone user. All right, next up is the headphones. So I'm actually using the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X BT. These headphones have been my go-to since they first released the wired version and they're one of the best bang for buck pair of headphones money can buy. They sound incredible, the frequency response is really accurate and they have a pretty good Bluetooth range. They're on par with the Apple AirPods so I can walk around my apartment from corner to corner and not lose connection. There are a couple of downsides with the M50X BT and they are that they do have a small amount of latency which can definitely impact your ability to accurately sync audio with video when you're doing video editing but these headphones come with an optional 3.5 millimeter jack which you can plug into your computer for any critical editing tasks. Another downside is that the ear pads that come with these headphones weren't as comfortable for me and I found that after about two hours of use my ears did start to hurt a little. So I replaced the ear pads with these really nice thick ear pads from a company called Brainwaves. These ear pads completely transformed these headphones into something really special. These are the angled version in a brown color. They're super comfy and they allow me to wear these headphones all day with no issues whatsoever. So as I mentioned, I've only got 256 gigabytes of SSD storage in my MacBook Pro. 
So what I actually do is I edit off an external SSD. This is a one terabyte SSD from SanDisk and I absolutely love this thing. I put some Velcro tape on the back of the SSD and also on the back of the monitor stand. I slap the SSD on the back of the monitor and plug it into one of the available USB-A ports and then you get the full speed of the SSD drive through the USB-C cable. The last piece on this desk is my weekly organizer. And this is just really handy to have sitting on my desk at all times. It allows me to plan out my week, add little to-dos for the days ahead and generally stay on track with all my tasks. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions for me, make sure you leave them down in the comments section below. I love chatting with you guys down there. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't clicked that red button, that subscribe button yet, make sure you go down there and do that. That helps me out a lot. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and I'll see you in the next video.